good day people welcome back to my youtube channel Elliot Viv principal I'm your host Shaheen now I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys took benefit from my analysis from last week uh, we had a pretty nice forecast uh, almost everything hit the target except one item and then we'll discuss it whether that item is uh, completely wrong or we just uh, need a little bit of correction and I'm talking about gold we're gonna look at gold uh, we have seen a surprising price movement uh, going in the bullish direction for gold we're gonna discuss where to place it in the larger trend uh, apart from that everything falls in right in the place I hope that some of you guys actually were able to take some very nice trade setups so we are going to continue our discussion uh, from our previous analysis we will definitely discuss a lot today uh, we have uh, Nasdaq 100 we'll discuss Tesla we'll discuss uh, well this one is I'll discuss it after uh, first we'll discuss um, Nasdaq 100 Tesla and then we'll discuss Dow Jones uh, I'm not sure where my chart for S&P 500 is and then after that after Dow Jones we'll discuss FTSE 100 which is a stock market index for um, for United Kingdom and then we'll definitely discuss Bitcoin if you guys are interested we'll keep an eye on Euro, pretty nice one. We'll discuss that and then we'll discuss British pound and Australian dollar and New Zealand dollar. We'll have a pretty nice uh, price analysis in Canadian dollar, Japanese yen. You want to know how far or how much of it uh, lef left out uh, or we still keep going on. And we'll discuss it the large time frame analysis in Japanese yen and we'll discuss the small time frame analysis in Japanese yen. By large, I mean cycle degree analysis. We are looking into some major. Um, uh, important support and resistance areas historically uh, we'll look at platinum if you guys are interested in platinum we'll definitely look at silver and gold and crude oil in the end so uh, we have a lot to cover and I will discuss it I'll try to um, be as precise as I can but I might drift a bit uh, left and right so stay with me first of all if you guys have been following I have uh, already integrated from the top that I was uh, telling you guys that we were going to be a bearish and we have seen a lot of price movement not only that we were able to anticipate the corrections and we were uh, going in that direction so in my previous analysis I told you guys that we are looking uh, for a completion we are very very close to the completion of a 5 wave structure that actually started all the way right at the top so I'm considering this whole price movement this is one two three four and five this is green uh, blue one and then we have blue two and then this blue wave three and then we have blue wave four and I'm expecting that we are going to see uh, bottom forming somewhere around 10,700 in um, in NASDAQ 100 and I told you guys the reason uh, is not uh, I told you guys the reason is that previous jump that we have seen that the target was in the middle of this structure I'm expecting that we are going to go uh, to the end of this structure as well that's why the target comes from over here so we are very very close to the completion of um, the bearish move that we had f right from the top and as you guys are aware of it after the five wave structure uh, we ought to have some sort of correction and that's exactly what we are expecting in uh, in NASDAQ 100 once uh, I think we probably have a couple of days left or maybe three days left in in the, in the target to be met and once that happens then we're going to definitely see some sort of correction most probably it is going to be some sort of a flat correction but it's going to take a lot of time uh, and we have to look at a daily time frame in that regard so I'm talking about something like this going on so it will take some time and it will give some time for the people who are uh, bullish in all this time to come out of their positions so it's, it's good news and in that regard we have Tesla already gave you guys indication uh, that I'm expecting um, this is my labeling for Tesla which I shared from previously I'm considering this as a blue wave one and two and we have three and four and we have five still going on we can see that within the five wave structure we have completed wave one and two and three and four and we're gonna see wave five along and the green line I told you guys because reason is simple a uh, couple of things can happen first of all we have seen previous uh, targets hitting the green line so it's a good probability that's gonna hit that one there's another target that we can achieve and which is that one right over here we have this structure is quite important in our previous uh, price movement that we have seen uh, first of all we we spent down and we just rejected that area 
and then we can came down again and this time we were able to hold the position we didn't go all the way over so this is indicating that right now prices are seem uh, are comfortable in this area right over here so I'm expecting uh, if 540 if you are able to cross 540 we are definitely going to 411 so the first target is 540 then 411 and then 331 um, we shall be completing that in next about three to five trading days and let's see how it goes this is Tesla and after definitely after five wave structure is complete we are going to see a corrective rally as you guys are well aware of it I have already told you guys that in long-term perspective I'm ex I'm definitely clearly bearish on the stock market that includes the US stock market world stock markets uh, FTSE 100 we're gonna discuss that in a, in a while so I'm clearly bearish on the stock markets uh, all around the globe all around the globe let's have a look at Dow Jones 30 right over here and uh, I've already told you guys that we gave it this analysis in my previous uh, and I clearly told you guys that we're gonna go down and we have seen pretty nice movement from there on so what are we going to see? Let's go back to the four hourly time frame. This labeling is not as uh, is as much in detail as the other labeling. So right now we're expecting that we shall be completing our target somewhere over here, which is 29,000. And this is the fifth wave we are completing. Once that wave is complete, uh, then definitely a follow up will happen. Right now, for next three, four trading days, I'm bearish on all the stock markets. I'm bearish on uh, Dow Jones, I'm bearish on Tesla, I'm bearish on uh, NASDAQ 100 and I'm also bearish on S&P 500. I'll have to look for that chart uh, but I don't want to look at it right now. FTSE, we had amazing, amazing forecast and right at the top I told you guys that we are to go down and then look what happened within few days. Well, I know the fundamentals, yeah, the European Union and blah blah, I don't know, understand but you have to call that before that happens, right? So we want to put on a uh, where it fits in. I'm expecting uh, for FTSE to drop all the way right over here, down over here. I've done some cycle analysis. If some of you guys are uh, interested in cycle analysis, as per that analysis, we are to expect a bottom somewhere around 2023 uh, for a very bearish rally that I'm seeing right now. So I've done the cycle analysis as per that analysis. The bottom is expected in December 2023. And then these time these are the timelines that you have seen. These vertical lines are the timelines. I've simply divided the whole target area to the starting point of the bearish move downward into eight sections. And then I've also divided the price target area, which comes from one of the previous uh, corrections that we had, uh, one of the previous behavior that we had. And I have also divided that price target and we have seen some pretty nice nice results. Let's get back to the daily time frame. Uh, here we can see that we have seen uh, three, these lines were drawn. If you guys can go back to my previous analysis and you can check and I have explained how I've drawn them. And these lines were drawn before uh, this lapse right over here. So this is exactly what you're seeing right now. We have one, two and three points. or so you can see one, two and three points right over here starting. And then not only that, we can see that the one by eight, we had support in one by eight. So as per, uh, by looking all of that, and we can see that we clearly came all the way down and we got rejected. And I, do, I drew um, a division tool right over here. And right now you guys can see uh, this, we have seen resistance right over here on a smaller time frame. All right. So this is also pretty interesting. Uh, I'm expecting that we will continue to go down. This is as per my analysis. We're going to go down and we're going to hit the target at 2 by 8. Uh, that's for right now. And if you can clear that, definitely you can go further lower. But next few days are definitely clearly bearish uh, in FTSE 100. And uh, we can actually go back on a hourly time frame to see if we have any. Here we can see we have a correction forming right over here. So this trend line is pretty nice as well. And once again, this is GAN angle. I'm pretty sure not many people are a fan of it because of a lot of negative propaganda about GAN astronomy and all that stuff. A lot of people are not fan of astronomy and astrology. So right now, I try to use as much technical analysis as I can from WD GAN. So we, I'm expecting that as soon as this correctional pattern is complete, we have to go down further down. Let me see uh, if you can actually. Yeah. So next few days are going to be bearish for FTSE as well. 
I'm expecting for the price to come all the way right over here in this area and once the price falls for the down we will be able to pinpoint uh, the smaller sub waves I haven't done that so but I'll try to do that as soon as possible right now I'm considering this whole price movement as wave 1 and this as double zigzag as wave 2 and I'm expecting that either we are going to see 1 2 uh, 1 2 or either if it's very strong in that case we are going to see wave 3 and a correction right over here so right now we have to keep a, an eye on the data and see how it unfolds uh, once again I'm expecting uh, FTSE to be completely bearish and I'm expecting a bottom to come down in 2023 this is uh, I've spent a lot of time in cycle analysis I'm not gonna uh, spend more time on it <laughs> so Bitcoin uh, once again, I told you guys that we were to complete a 5 wave structure because we had a, a zigzag pattern forming and we have seen that and I told you guys that we have reversal and then that's exactly happened. Uh, we have seen some sort of structure right over here. There is still a possibility that we can actually go down up. If this structure is yet not complete, we can still go down. If the structure is complete, this one, we the main trend is still bearish in, in Bitcoin. I have to run some... Uh, some tests on the data and on this data that I have I'm, I need some time to run that test and I'm definitely gonna do that uh, but right now we have a couple of things uh, we can definitely call this an A, B and a C pattern in which wave C is going to be quite elongated as compared to wave A so we can compare this as well and if this becomes really ugly then definitely we have to change that labeling we can definitely call it a W, X and Y which will make it a double zigzag pattern too Right now the trend is clearly bearish because we have just come out of the, the correctional pattern. We have just come out of the correction and the wave C was unable to go and even complete that, the whole uh, channel as well, the upper target line of the channel as well. So giving in right, right now the people are more bearish, the traders are more bearish right now uh, and the main trend still stays bearish in, uh, in Bitcoin. Uh, as I said I have to run some data and then we will be able to pinpoint exactly where the smaller waves are. I'll try to do as soon as possible. Euro, we have a pretty nice picture. I told you guys that, first of all, if some of you guys are concerned with, which is my larger point of view for Euro, I believe that we have completed an A, a B, and a C. Uh, let me go back to the uh, weekly time frame. So I'm expecting that we have completed a W right over here, which is A, B, and C, a W. And then we have completed an X right over here, which is a flat correction. And then we have to complete some sort of a five wave structure going all the way right up over here. And I remember I tried to tell you guys that the reason I gave you guys this uh, target area is if you look at this whole structure, and then we cut, we went on in the structure and refused. We went on into that structure and we got refused. So we can actually uh, bring our target area to right over here. I think the top one is a little more optimistic. But let's leave it over there too, just in case. So right, right, bring bring it over here. This is what I'm looking at for Euro in next uh, a couple of years, I believe. We can say next two years, uh, probably. And then I'm expecting Euro to be stronger. And uh, this is the larger time frame analysis. Let's get back to the daily time frame analysis and actually in every time frame for us analysis here we can see that we have pretty nice movement uh, we have an expanded flat right now covering here wave a and wave b and wave c this is what's going on right now within the wave c we have completed wave one and two and three and four and five and when euro was going all the way right over here i told you guys that we are to go down and that's exactly what we are seeing right now uh, so it was a lot of noise it took a lot of time for euro to go down but it did happen you can once again uh, see my previous analysis on Euro, and you'll have some idea of how I'm saying. So here we have completed a five wave structure. We are uh, very very close to the completion of the A, B, and C, which is an expanded flat correction. We are to go down now. Just cannot, just do not completely go blindly and say, "Oh, I'm going to be turning bullish on Euro." The way to do is that we have completed a wave one and two, three and four. So we can do what we can do right now. Let's have a look if we can actually draw a clear line right over here. So so let's push it even higher a little over here. If pro when prices goes down and can clear above 1.054 right over here in this area, that 
would be an indication that will be after going down not straight away if it goes away straight away right over here that means it's completing a correction right now as you guys can see on a five five minute chart that we are to complete some sort of correction and when that correction is complete and price goes down creates a new low below this one and then turns up that will be going beyond uh, wave four and that will be your indication of our con uh, a confirmation of the change in trend so do not completely as soon even the the picture looks very beautiful if you are an Elliot uh, elitician you know what I'm talking about it's pretty uh, nice and beautiful right now we have labeling everything is just set on so we can keep an eye right now on this regard once again if you keep an eye on uh, on the structure on the left side right over here too this structure is pretty important uh, so we can see that uh, we have definitely come below this particular structure which is right over here right now we are in the middle of this structure so we can expect for euro to come down right over here test here so it can come create complete correction and come down right over here and then reverse once th that reverses definitely you can be bullish so what I'm expecting right now uh, once again I told you guys I'm expecting that we have created a major bottom right over here and I'm expecting that we are going to create a very nice impulsive move right over here once that impulsive move is complete um, one of the tip for you for if you are an Elliott wave analyst is or an Elliott wave trader is try to isolate your labeling from of one trade from another trade for example right now we have this labeling it goes up so right now when when you have completed your trade right over here too just simply do not go on the downside because you'll be attaching your next move with previous move in fact let the market complete a pattern once it completes a pattern either it's going to be a zigzag a deeper zigzag a shallow zigzag or a flat correction in that regard once that pattern is complete you will be isolating your trades from one to another once that is complete you definitely can look at the trend okay it's a correctional pattern it's not an impulsive wave and then you can definitely decide your next I'm not talking about this one the one that we are waiting in probably completed in next five to ten trading days so it's, it's pretty nice the uh, trading setup in Euro we have a similar trading setup in uh, in British pound as well we are very close to the completion of ABC and that's how that's how I'm looking at it right now even though we have gone a little more deeper as compared to the uh, Euro right now I'm expecting that as soon as this correction is complete we are to go down we are to go up somewhere in this region right over here too so we can do one more thing we can definitely uh, use this right over here and see if we are to form now nah, it does not it doesn't work really good because we have almost three points on that and we have clearly prices going beyond it in that regard a lot of time uh, people try to double that channel as well this is one tool is to double that channel right over here too but it's not really useful in this regard so what we can use right now is we can definitely draw a trend line to complete this particular area all right this trend line is going to be useful to provide us a trigger signal to go be bullish I'm bullish I'm gonna be bullish in uh, British pound I believe that we have completed a bottom right over here we have a five year structure a correction and we are to go upward uh, in, in the upside uh, next couple of weeks so I would say maybe five day trading days six trading days let's have a look at Australian dollar once again uh, we have a nice move on uh, Australian dollar so uh, once again we have completed a five wave structure uh, within five wave structure we have very very close to the completion of the the trading setup we might actually go a little deeper because right now uh, we are forming uh, some sort of correction on a smaller time frame and I'm expecting that this is going to be the Z I'm expecting this to be a triple zigzag first W X Y X and Z and definitely we can discuss a lot of it we can easily turn to make it uh, ending di uh, sorry uh, an expanded flat but I'm expecting right now that a little more price movement is left in the on the diamond side somewhere in the middle look at this particular structure right over here somewhere in the middle I'm thinking we should found some support and then we will go uh, bullish on Australian dollar I'm going to be bullish on Australian dollar for next 
uh, five to ten trading days or as soon as the trade is complete right now we'll be able to look at the levels and decide when that trade is complete a similar story is happening in New Zealand dollar once again this is the larger picture that you are seeing uh, we have completed a 5 structure I believe that we have completed the W X and Y which is a double zigzag on a on on a large level on a larger wave and within that we have here we have let me give you what here I believe that we have completed a 5 structure and we are very close to A B and C the end of C is very close as soon as that happens uh, we will uh, can actually go long uh, here we can see that uh, the pattern is pretty forming pretty nice uh, diagonal support uh, all the pattern especially the wave C is following the the whole support is right over here so as soon as the support is broken we will have an indication that we can go long uh, on Australian dollar and New Zealand dollar Canadian dollar we have a pretty nice movement uh, we are very close to the uh, completion of uh, uh, we have completed actually a 5 wave structure downward and then I believe that we are very very close to the completion of the correction uh, we can believe we can say that we have uh, an expanded flat right over here we have an A and a B and pretty elongated wave C so we can definitely count 1 2 3 4 and 5 right now I believe we have completed wave 1 and 2 we, wave 3 is still going on we have wave 1 of wave 3 2 of 3, 3 of 3, 4 of 3, 5 of 3, a correction and a further move upward that will be completing the wave that actually started right from over here uh, and after that I believe that we are going to go down further I have to update the labeling right now I'm not sure how complete is the long term frame analysis on on this one so the long term frame analysis is not complete we have a 5 wave structure and the this labeling is not complete we can definitely consider this as a wave 2 right over here where we have seen right over here and we are to go down further so it's pretty nice movement in Canadian dollar a pullback we were expecting a pullback uh, when we were here I told you guys that uh, we are to expect a pullback price went a little further down and then we have seen a pullback let's see Japanese yen now so if you guys are interested um, I think I think uh, I have uh, shown this analysis before on my long term analysis on my YouTube channel and yeah I did so here is the, the monthly time frame uh, so it, it can give you some sort of uh, we had uh, this pattern considered already before in hand beforehand and I gave two targets in advance first of all 135 the other one is 147 and I told you guys that we are very very close to the completion of this target as soon as that happens we are to go down so that's still on a larger time on a month larger monthly time frame uh, I'm bearish as soon as the turn happens as soon as we start we see the first price movement I'm going to turn bearish on Japanese Gen this particular chart let's have a look on uh, here we can see that we have nice price movement uh, we can definitely see a correction forming right over here too so this correction is very very important a lot of time uh, because of we have seen a lot of bullish price movement and because we are very close to the completion of the trend I believe that this is the larger wave uh, that is the last wave and within this wave we, a smaller wave would be completing a fifth wave so therefore this particular area is very very important I believe that as soon as uh, prices come below 133 that will be indication that we have completed this particular 5 wave structure and that will also be an indication that we ought to turn bearish on the chart that will be making Japanese yen bullish right or I'm going mad yeah because these Japanese yen and Canadian dollar are both upside down charts so that will be making Japanese yen bullish the main trend on the chart will be going down and we are saying that we once that completes we will be completing this wave that all started all the way right over here so I haven't done the labeling I'm gonna spend some time on the labeling on Japanese Gen uh, but I hope that you guys get the point as soon as price drops one third below 133 uh, which is also a small time frame 
uh, on our time frame we have a double bottom forming and that will be indication that will be bearish on Japanese gen platinum I'm going to be bearish on platinum for next few days once again the because we are very very close to the completion of the last um, to the fifth wave of a, you can say the last leg of the the correction downward there is quite a possibility that we might not create a new low it shall create a new low theoretically but when you look at things practically we have already seen double bottom we have one two and three bottoms around the same area so there is high likelihood of prices creating a fourth bottom and then turning up right over here for next few trading days I'm going to be bearish on platinum alright pretty ugly move uh, we have seen in gold we'll definitely discuss that where does that fit in I told you guys um, in my previous analysis that uh, this is the analysis I'm going on with the with, with silver. Let me delete that. And then we have seen nice movement going down, and we have seen some sort of correction, flat correction. I believe that it is a correction. It's not a a price movement on the bullish side. Uh, I believe that we ought to go further down in silver, and I'm considering that this will be the completion of the uh, the five wave structure that actually started right from over here. That will also be the completion of the trend that actually started right from the top. Right now, A, B, and C. I know this is uh, not going to be ideal condition. Uh, I've seen into some cycle analysis, the cycle analysis in getting. We are very, very close to the uh, the bottom being formed in silver, and that can happen once we consider this as a leading diagonal, and this as a wave B, which is a double zigzag or a flat correction and then we have one two three four and five so we, our next few trading days are going to be bearish I would say next two weeks are going to be bearish for silver and gold on a smaller time frame if you want to look at a 15 minute chart I believe that we have completed a smaller wave one and two and I believe that we have completed another smaller wave and this is an A, a B and a C and within that A, B and C uh, we have completed wave 1 and 2 so I believe that we have A and B and C right over here within that we have a 1 and 2 and we are to go 3 and 4 and 5 so I believe that next uh, on Monday probably we will see wave going up and then we can definitely wait for the prices to drop below that will give us a bearish uh, a trading setup for silver alright gold I had my own trade running on gold and then it got pretty pretty nasty it got very nasty of course I was so excited we had a impulsive move a correction another move I'm like okay it's slow but it's still going down and then we had this how do you anticipate for something like this now the problem here is that can we consider this whole price movement starting from the over here or and over here as a correction and I'm going to I know it's going to be looking very ugly and I'm going to be considering it as a, a whole correction starting from over here to over here alright I'm going to consider it as a double three which is first leg is a zigzag the X is a zigzag and Z is a zigzag as well it's very it happens at a very very less time but it does it is a valid count as far as valid count is concerned we have a clear 5 wave structure up we can consider this whole price movement as wave B and then we can clear this whole price movement as wave C so if that is the case we have to see a 5 wave move and we have we are actually seeing a 5 wave move let me crack this first right over here alright and let's have a look at a five minute chart which will give us much better labeling we have wave one right over here and wave two right over here wave three right over here and wave four and wave five going upside once that wave is complete we ought to go down so I'm going to be bearish uh, after the completion of that
this is the small time frame I'm definitely going to show you guys uh, what I was thinking on a large time frame on a four hourly time frame uh, here I'm thinking as we have one and two we have three and four and then we have five down further I'm expecting we have five to be on this green line right over here which forms to be somewhere around 1720 that count is still valid the only thing is that uh, we anticipated the end of the correction a little earlier and because I did not think of a correction such messier than right over here and I had a loss honestly I had a loss in the, because I had a stop loss right at the top and we can see that we are very very close to I just got uh, caught my stop loss got just caught out and I'm, I'm going to take a trade negative on the bearish side once again so this completes away one two three four and five and on a daily time frame you can see I'm clearly calling this as wave A and wave B and wave C that would be completing a wave 3, 3 and 5 structure and then it will turn bullish on gold so that's the story for gold and I hope that you'll have some more chance on on uh, going go gold in gold we have also pretty nice movement in give me a moment I was playing around here I need to show you this I was playing around with this one right over here actually this actually stays like that and let me delete that so we can actually see something we can see four hourly time frame and then could there be one more price movement up left in in uh, crude oil I, in my previous analysis, I told you guys that we were clearing this, selling this as an, a wave one, and this whole as wave two. Uh, we have clearly an A and a B and an ending diagonal right over here too. We have clearly wave one and two, wave three, which is a double zigzag right over here, wave four, and then we are to complete wave five. And I told you guys that as soon as the target is uh, achieved, in this pattern is complete, we are to go strongly downside. So I'm bearish on crude oil. Nothing has changed in that regard. Let's go back on a 50 number time frame. The big, big question is, is that is this the pattern that actually started right from over here is complete? I think, I personally think that we are going to see a little more push upward right in this regard let me see that if we can bring that oh that is going to touch it push it 125 let's make it 124 because the whole reason I'm saying is because just recently uh, we have seen an example in which wave 2 went way deeper way deeper and that was FTSE give me a moment uh, here it is here right over here right over here we can see that we had seen wave 2 gone way deeper way way deeper and then we have seen a sharper reversal so I'm expecting a similar kind of behavior in here uh, in crude oil so I would still am expecting it uh, up to me, it looks to me right now that we have a little more push left upward and 124 or 125 is going to be our target for that price movement let's say that if it does create a new high in that case we can clearly see an ending diagonal that will turn this whole price movement as a corrective movement and this is as an ending diagonal which will be completing a pattern starting from over here and even before over here so I am bearish on the thing we have uh, two patterns going on first of all this one and then this one and then the last one is right over here too so the patterns are pretty clear uh, there is no denying how exactly they fit with one each other we have to wait and uh, next couple of days probably will be able to give a give us give us a good indication of where things are happening so I'm expecting that we are to see some push upward right over here in this region and then come downward so if the push upward happens we can definitely use this double bottom as our trigger signal to go bearish on crude oil i hope that you like uh, you guys like the content 
if you guys did please do press that thumbs up button and comment I read every single comment there it is as long as it's um, create it is a positive thing and uh, even if it's negative if you're not going after me personally I'm an analyst I'm not computer uh, that can look into future uh, I try my best uh, to spend my time and to use my experience and my education uh, to provide analysis so if you're going to be nasty with me personally in the comment section I'm not going to rec respect that and I'm not, not going to recognize that so as if you're not throwing any comment like that I will definitely answer your comment and if I'm not answering a comment doesn't mean that it's actually has fallen into that category so I welcome all the comments uh, please, uh, if you like the content please uh, press thumbs up uh, definitely subscribe because when you subscribe I, if, I, if I make a content uh, a video update which is necessary then you can straight away see it and then you can see that uh, uh, something has changed in the analysis wish you good luck with your trading next week have a good one and bye bye